welcome to another episode. Today we are going to be opening up some packages that I received when I got back from uh, my road gig recently. Ordered some things, came home to the packages, so now we're going to open them up, see what I picked up. Um, but before we do that, it's been two years now since I started doing these videos. Started them in May 2020 when the whole COVID like lockdown began. And, you know, I was kind of bored. I was watching a handful of videos online of people doing these sorts of videos, showing off their uh, record collection. And it kind of sparked the idea of like, eh, why don't I try that? You know, I felt like I might be able to, you know, add something to that, you know. Um, not sure if I did, but, <laughs> uh, you know, it, it's been fun and I've enjoyed doing it. I never got around to my CD collection. I have like about 1,500 CDs. They're all still boxed up. Um, and I never got to dive really into that, but, uh, but it's been fun going to some of these record stores as stuff opened up and, uh, checking them out and, you know, interacting with people, um, through the comments and some other collectors that I've kind of gotten to know a little bit. Uh, it's all been cool, but I kind of feel like maybe now it's time to ease up. I've been doing them every week and going forward. I don't know when I'll do another one of these. I just kind of feel like there's some other projects that I've been kind of neglecting and I really need to get back on track and focus on them. And these were kind of, I feel like they were kind of getting in the way uh, a little bit. And the other side, which may sound a little weird, but um, I kind of feel, especially the last year, especially going in stores, that there have been some purchases I've been making that I feel like I was making them more for, oh, I could, you know, do that in one of the videos as opposed to like, I want that, you know, I really, oh, I've been looking for that or something like that. So I just kind of, I just wasn't crazy about that idea that I, some of these purchases I made over the last year weren't, were more for a video as opposed to something I really wanted. And that didn't really sit well with me. So it just kind of felt like, you know, two years, maybe now's the time to back away. And, you know, again, I'm not saying I'd never do one of these again, but it, I'm not going to do them weekly, you know, and down the line, especially if I like hit up like a kind of a cool uh, store and pick up some neat stuff. I definitely could see myself doing another one, jumping on here and posting another one. But just as like a weekly thing, it just seems like I need to kind of focus on some other stuff right now. So having said that, um, at the end of this video, I'd love to give a kind of like uh, some tip of the hat to some people who uh, I've gotten to know a little bit, who make these kinds of videos, who I really enjoy watching uh, the videos that they make and seeing their collection. Uh, so I just kind of felt it'd be cool to kind of, you know, uh, just mention them. Um, so we'll do that after I uh, open up some of these packages. So without further ado, let's dive in. From 1997, we've got the soundtrack to Desperate Teenage Love Dolls. Now, I said we were going to be opening some packages and everything, but there's two CDs here, this being one of them, that I got right before I left last fall to go away on this gig. Um, so I'm just going to you know, show these real quick because I haven't covered them yet on any video. Uh, this is a soundtrack to this crazy movie from 1984. Um, real DIY film, Red Cross is in the film, and do a bunch of the music on here, it's set in Southern California, it's kind of part of that kind of punk scene that was still around in Southern California, um, and it's just this crazy movie, I think they shot it on like Super 8, so it's like real low budget, like no budget stuff, but if you like that kind of weird you know, kind of undergroundish kind of film, you might want to check it out. Uh, I saw it back in maybe like 15 or 16 years ago, uh, when back when Netflix was only like getting DVDs through the mail. I remember getting it through Netflix. I don't remember where I'd heard about it, but it's just a really kind of funky movie. I, I like it, but it's not like I would necessarily recommend you run out and see it. But if you like those kind of like weird underground, low budget kind of things, you might dig it but uh really cool fun soundtrack this booklet this was released obviously years after the movie had come out and uh, it's got a lot of cool liner notes and stuff in here about the film and all that i was really happy to like add this to my collection um real quick i i, I still feel like i haven't listened to this 
completely, but some of the tracks on here that I dig are Hot Bitch by White Flag, Rights Right by Dark Side, Survive by the Bags, 12 Hour Trip by Sin 34, and my favorite tune on here is Legend Come On Up To Me by Red Cross. Um, the lead singer on that track is the star of the film. It's really cool. I really like that one, but uh, pretty wild uh, soundtrack. You should check this one out. 1979, we have The Only Ones and Special View. Uh, this CD I picked up mainly based off of their song, Another Girl, Another Planet, which is a great song. They're kind of, I wouldn't really lump them as, I guess punk, they're like a punk band, not, I guess maybe New Wave somewhat. That song's been covered by a tons of people. Um, it's a really, really catchy song. I love it. And, uh, you know, this was just one of those purchases where I, I like that song. I've heard of that band a lot aside from that song. I just don't really know their stuff. But I was like, ah, let me just take a gamble on it, pick it up. Uh, and it's good. I really like it a lot. I don't really know what became of them afterwards. Not much in the booklet there. There's probably, like, a newer version of this that has, like, liner notes and everything. I wouldn't be surprised. Other tracks on here I like are You've Got to Pay, out there in the night, City of Fun, and Lovers of Today is another track on here that I dig. And of course, like I mentioned, Another Girl, Another Planet, which kicks the record off, is just an awesome, awesome tune. Check out The Only Ones. And now we begin the unboxing, unwrapping, opening packages, whatever you want to call it. This package from Glenn Mills, Pennsylvania. And today's winner, ah, Arcadia, So Red the Rose. This is the spinoff of Duran Duran. There were the two spinoffs, Arcadia and Power Station. I have the Power Station album. I really like that one. Had it on vinyl back when it came out and then sold it off years later. Now I have the CD. Um, that's a great record. This one I was never really that interested in. This kind of falls in line with my... Um, often mentioned on these videos, kind of fascination, new fascination with 80s new wave. Last 10 years or so, I've been picking up a lot of 80s new wave stuff, and I feel like these guys kind of fall in that category. But uh, somebody was talking about this on Twitter that I saw a post, and they were talking about it, and people were commenting how good this was, and they thought it was like the, the best quote-unquote Duran Duran album that wasn't released by Duran Duran, kind of piqued my interest. And I knew the one track that re they released as a single that was pretty successful on here, Election Day, knew nothing else. But just based on that stuff, I just decided to give it a shot and pick it up. And I found it, I think, on eBay pretty cheap. So, you know, if it's terrible, it won't be that big of a disappointment. But curious to really see how this sounds, like I said, other than that one song. And I didn't mind Election Day. I thought Election Day was pretty decent. It, I mean, it just never really made me want to go out and buy a record or anything. But uh, we'll see. From Dover, New Hampshire, Do Not Bend, probably a digipack. <laughs> Belly and their CD Bees. These are all B-Sides by the band Belly, who I really like quite a bit. I think a lot of this stuff popped up on like CD singles and stuff like that, and they finally decided to compile them all and put them out on a CD. They also released this on vinyl as well. I decided to go with the CD. It's a brand new, obviously. I haven't opened it yet. How could I have opened it yet? <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to this. Some of these songs I'm familiar with, um, but uh, but definitely a cool pickup. From Traverse City, Michigan, we have got... We got AHA, Hunting High and Low. Their, I don't know if this is their debut. I feel like it, it is their debut, but this, of course, has their big hit, Take On Me. Um, again, 80s New Wave, always like Take On Me, always like The Sun Always Shines on TV. It's just one of those things, like it crosses my path and I'm like, oh yeah, what about that, you know? Let me go online and look to see if I can find it for a good price. And uh, I did and decided to pick it up. 
And, wow, nothing in the booklet. I mean, this is mid-80s. You don't really expect there to be much in the booklet, but I thought they could have done a little bit more than that. But, uh, you know, again, I know those two songs and nothing else on this record, so just curious to hear what this is, you know? And again, I think I got it really cheap, so if I listen to it and it's like, well, just those two songs are good, the rest kind of sucks. You know, it's not that big a deal. From Methahune, Massachusetts? I don't know, I think. <laughs> Wrapped in plastic, we've got the Dream Academy, self-titled. What was this from, 1985? Well, another 1985. Um, their debut, you probably know them from the song Life in a Northern Town, which was really good. I remember, I think the second single was The Love Parade, which I think I remember kind of liking that too. But again, I don't know. I mean, I kind of lumped these guys in 80s New Wave, but maybe... Other people wouldn't, maybe a little more alternative and stuff. But uh, again, it's the same like Aha. It's like just one day a song or the band or something just crossed my path and I just was like, oh yeah, what about that? Maybe that might be interesting. I bet I can find it cheap. Went online and grabbed it and, uh, you know, be curious to see what the rest of this sounds like, you know, because again, similar to. Uh, you know, Arcadia and Aha, uh -huh. other than those two songs, I'm not familiar with any of this. From North Adams, Massachusetts. A lot of stuff coming from New England. Hey, guess what? Are you thinking like I'm thinking that this is going to probably be some like mid-80s new wave? It's Wang Chung. <laughs> Points on the Curve. When did this come out? 84? 83. Um, this has Dance Hall Days. I'm trying to think. I know there was like a second single off this, but none of these tracks are jumping out at me. Same thing as I've repeated a hundred times today, you know? It's just one of those bands that just popped into my head one day, and I was like, oh yeah, let me look online, see if I can find that used pretty cheap. And I did and decided to pick it up, you know? Dance Hall Days is a good tune. It's funny, like a lot of these, I knew the songs and some of them I thought were, were decent, but it wasn't really like the stuff I was listening to at the time. So I, it never crossed my mind to pick up an album, you know, these albums at all, you know? And it wasn't until, like I said, you know, a handful of years ago that I just started picking up a lot of these song, you know, bands and albums that I kind of not necessarily slept on, but I just, you know, wasn't interested in at the time. And now kind of, you know, curious how the rest of the record sounds. I appreciate this stuff more than I did back then. I guess that's the easy way of putting it. And finally, from Montgomery, Illinois. This is crazy package. Look at this packaging. Pretty crazy cool, but it's pretty nuts, huh? It's like a whole thing packaged with a CD slot. I like that. So, what do we have? This CD needs a new case. We've got Ivana Santilli and her record Brown. This came out in what, 99? Um, I know one song on this record, Sun Plus Moon Equals Tomorrow. That might sound very pretentious, but it's a really good song. She's kind of like electronica. CDs in backwards. Um, really cool, chill, mellow kind of electronica, that kind of stuff. Like, you know, like you want to just kind of lounge out and listen to, you know. Um, at least that song is. I don't know any of these other tracks on here, so the rest of it could be like, who knows, trip hop. Originally, I saw the video on Much Music when this came out in 99, and I just really, really dug that tune. And that's it. I never heard anything else by her. I mean, I think she's from, I want to, yeah, I think she's from Canada. Somewhat popular up there. This song just popped up one day and I was like, oh yeah, let me look that up. And I looked it up and found it fairly cheap. So I decided to finally pick it up. I have no idea, you know, what else this is going to sound like, but uh, pretty cool. And like I said, this is beat up. I can have to put this in a new case for sure. So that is all the packages that were waiting for me when I came home from the last road gig. 
Uh, I'm looking forward to diving in and checking out a bunch of those. I got another road gig coming up in a week, so, you know, I'll uh, get to maybe listen to some of those on the plane and all that stuff. Um, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I just wanted to kind of quickly mention a few people uh, whose videos I really enjoy watching. I uh, love seeing what they have in their collection. A few of them I've, you know, gotten to know slightly just through some comments, exchanging some comments and stuff. Uh, Monty Muse, check her videos out. Really love watching uh, the stuff she's putting together. Um, JT's Record Room, oh yeah. <laughs> I, I kind of ribbed him about that. I think now he doesn't say it anymore, but he used to always say, oh yeah, when he's holding up the records and stuff. But uh, it always made me laugh. Um, flip side with JC and his giant wall of vinyl behind him all the time. Uh, lots of really cool stuff. Always so it seems to be like on top of what's coming around. Uh, Hannah, the Omaha introvert, who probably if my memory serves, is the first person I started seeing of these like record collections or one of the first ones that I can really remember and I think is the one that kind of really gave me the idea to do this. Uh, her taste in music is very similar to mine, I feel. And uh, she just, uh, just, I just love hearing, she's really good, I feel, at um, breaking down the the genre of music i i think i've mentioned her a few times you know which i'm horrible at but she really seems to be able to pinpoint like the different genres mama's records love watching his videos short ones breezes through finds some great stuff in goodwill he posted some video from some goodwill collection i couldn't believe some of the stuff he found um melinda murphy who just seems like the nicest coolest person you could ever meet and is a fellow van halen fanatic so I need to share, uh, you know, her name in this list. Smell the Vinyl up in Canada. He seems like a cool dude, you know, and uh, used to own a record store. He's got a video about his old record store on there. Uh, I enjoy watching his videos as well. Uh, that Vinyl channel, always showing some really cool, uh, you know, pickups and stuff from his collection. Uh, Brendan Snyder, that dude has like massive amounts of videos for you to watch. Just feel, I feel like he posts something every day. Um, has a massive CD collection and he, he's been doing some really cool videos where he uh, is going into record stores and just kind of taking you on a tour as he's going through. A lot of them in New York especially, which is cool. There's been one or two that I wasn't that familiar with having bought records in New York for years. There were one or two that I was just like, oh, I gotta get up there and check that place out. And finally, last but not least, the vinyl guru in the house. She's awesome. You got to check her stuff out. So that's it, y'all. Uh, I'm going to take off now. I uh, hope you enjoy these videos. If you haven't seen any other ones, they're all up there. You can watch the last two years of me showing off these records and stuff. And like I said, I'm sure I'll pop in, you know, at some point and uh, show some new stuff. Like I said, especially if I go to a record store, I, I, those have been the most fun, just kind of showing stuff off or visiting some of these different record stores. So with that, please, by all means, leave some comments. Let me know about these records that I just picked up in the mail. Let me know what tracks to check out, which ones you like, which ones you hate. And we'll see you sometime in the future. Well, welcome to, this is my first episode, you might be watching these out of order.